you guys. Today I'm going to do the Half and a Half Knots Season 4, Episode 18. Um, Catherine, it was um, where the DA with Jennifer was going to Catherine's house. And Hannah was trying to not let Jennifer in. She knows that Catherine has beef with Jennifer, hate Jennifer right now because of Wyatt. So she wants to question her, like, why are you here? What do you want? All this stuff. And I'm like, she don't have to answer you. But then again, you don't have to let her in. But then uh, she's going to just ring the doorbell or she's going to get your ass arrested. So whatever. So, um, Jennifer was telling her, like, and she was like, what's this about? And she said, this is about her son. So she was like, I don't think she really want to see you. She's not in the mood, but whatever. She was like, but I'll go tell her you here. So Jennifer was like, okay, but why was that ambulance here? She was like, you got to ask the owner of the house. Like, I can't tell you nothing. Because Jennifer was really asking Hannah, like, why are you still here? Like, um, you, I understand you don't want to lose your job, but then Hannah told her, well, I don't, you know, she don't work there anymore. And she was like, you know, something about Wyatt, um, you know, why would she be working there, you know, and all the stuff that happened between her son and Wyatt and all that kind of stuff. If I keep looking up, it's because all of a sudden it started raining and thundering and lightning and all kind of windy crazy stuff is going on right now in Vegas and it just ha happened like all of a sudden and y'all know it'd be like over 100 degrees here so I just keep looking um so anyway so Hannah goes up and tells um Catherine that somebody is here to see you some you know something is going on someone is here to see you and she was like who what I'm not in a mood and so she was like, you know, the DA. And when she said that it was Jennifer, Catherine lost it and went downstairs and was about to give it to Jennifer. She asked the cop, hey, give me your gun so I can shoot her between the eyes. I said, he said, hey, you can't be threatening people, you know, public officials like that. You know what I'm saying? That's the guest of all. She said, either you going to give me a gun or I'll go get one and come back and shoot her ass. And <laughs> I was just like, well, I understand you're mad, Catherine. But then, you know, Catherine got pulled there. But then I'm like, you don't have that much pull because all the judges hate y'all right now. So maybe it ain't in your best interest to be threatening this girl. But I totally get it. I totally get it, boo. That's your baby. That's your son. You and your feelings right now. So I totally get it. So she was like, unless you coming back and tell me my son is here from the dead, then you don't have nothing to say to me. And she was like, well, he is. And they like, huh? And she was like, well, he is technically. And so they like, huh? And they like, you know, I apologize, but you know, they were saying how the people that checked him said that, you know, they thought he was dead. He was unconscious for 32 hours. So they thought he was dead and he had a weak post, all this. Oh, my God. Catherine was pissed off. She was mad as hell. You know, she they was like, um, he's in the hospital. He's in an induced coma. And we have somebody here to come and take you to the hospital. She was like, I'm not fucking going nowhere with you. I, like, you could take them and shove it up your ass. I'm not going nowhere. She was like, I'm not going. And Hannah like, wait a minute, you not going? She was like, no, I'm not going. So, um, she ended up telling, um, homegirl, like, you return, I'm not going to see him like that. You return my son the way your ass got him. <laughs> and I was like, oh, I wasn't mad at Catherine at that point because, oh, it was, Oh, it was so emotional. It was so strong. I was so here for it. Because I was just like, wow. She was like, you're my enemy. She was like, don't be threatening me around witnesses. Catherine didn't give two shits about no witnesses being around there. She was like, bitch, get out of my house. I was like, yeah. Like, girl, please don't get smart with her when you know this lady is distraught. You know what you, your part you played in this. Just let this lady have it and keep it pushing. But you know, Jennifer got a smart ass mouth, so whatever. Catherine falls weak. 
when State leaves or whatever, falls on the ground, and, and Hannah is just, like, really there for her, and, you know, like, you sure you can't go see him, that's your son, she was like, I can't, I can't see him like that, you made me see Amanda in a body bag, and that's the only image I have right now, so I can't see my son like that, and so Hannah was like, once you say it like that, then I can understand, she was like, do you mind if I go see him, and Catherine was happy, was like, you know, I was hoping you would say that, so, Hannah said she's going to go see him. Erica's at the hotel. She calls Candace like, hey, send me a picture of Oscar. And Candace sent her a picture. She was like, hey, he here right now. Candace was like, where you at? She told her. She was like, keep him there. I'm on my way. She was like, how am I supposed to do that? I'm waiting on my dude, and this might be a little money maker, so I can't be getting caught up with Oscar. So she was like, please keep him there. This damn Erica walks up to Oscar like a boss, like a tramp, all that. In one. She walks up to him and was like, you know, didn't even care that he was sitting with a date and was flirting with him and, you know, just like, can I take you out? And he was like, no. Like, don't you see I'm with somebody? She paid that girl dust, slid her number in his pocket. I'm like, this girl don't give two shits about that little girl that's sitting by you. So, then, you know, homeboy, her date end up coming or whatever and so, she had to play it off with Candace on the phone. And she ended up going to put her phone and had a tracker or something in his car. She had one of the valet dudes put the phone under his seat so she could find out where he going. Since she wouldn't know, be able to follow him. So now Candace is worried as hell. Um, Jeffrey and Justin is at the house. Candace goes home since she can't go figure out what Oscar's up to. She go home, she's trying to figure out, why is Oscar here? Jeffrey, what are you doing? Why is Oscar here? And he was like, because I'm going to jail. He knows. He knows. And he playing this so stupid-ass role with her, like, I still don't understand why Jeffrey brought him there. Him there. And something about the phones and her house. And I was sitting there like, what do that have to do with why are y'all here? Um... And why are you kicking it with him? I, I'm talking about that's my friend and all that. And I understand once they was together, um, in the house together, he was like, well, you told me to get to know him and all that kind of stuff. And she was like, well, do you know about his weaknesses? And he was like, well, a little bit. And she was like, well, I was telling you to find out about him, not him knowing about you. You like... But I'm like, girl, he, you ain't put him through no training. He ain't Erica. He don't know how to work the mark. Like, girl, that's Jeffrey. He don't know how to do nothing without a fucking manual of what to do. A, B, C, D, 1, 2, 3. Because you see how his mama got his ass. So you know he don't know what to do. Um, so, anyway, homeboy ended up leaving after they said that, um, because she ended up calling her brother to tell him that Jeffrey was there with the cop or whatever, and they were trying to find out what was up with Veronica, was she dead, Benny don't know, he don't know shit, so Justin ended up coming back and saying that she was, she was alive, she wasn't dead or whatever, <laughs> Candace got mad because her ass was alive, I was cracking up, I was like, Candace, I feel your pain. I wanted her dead, too. We all did. Uh, well, probably not Ashley. But, you know, the rest of us, Ashley Miller, are probably the only one don't want Veronica dead. But we all do. So, I kind of feel your pain, Candace. So, Justin ended up leaving. Um, and cause he, cause, oh, before he leave, Jeffrey, old punk ass, was like, she's gonna be coming for me. She's gonna get me. Shut your, shake that shit up. And sh Boy, you, you stab people. Be quiet. Motherfucker, you think you, people ain't gonna come for you? Nigga, you wouldn't have killed Quincy. He'd be coming for you, too. N then what? You better just get better with the knife. I don't know. But like I said, Justin leaves. And then, um... That's when Candace was talking to him. He was telling Candace his mama going to be coming for him. And then he wondered why she ain't sent the police and all that. And they was like, because what does a snake do? Uh, 
they wait to strike or something. It's all about timing. And I was like, yeah, Veronica's very calculating. She's going to get your ass and she's going to have you so fucking scared. Jeffrey, your mama know what she doing. And he like, it's too much. I can't do this. I'm like, slap him. Slap him right now, Candace. He getting on my nerve. Jeffrey always gets on my nerve. Because he act like a little bitch sometimes. Um, Hannah, David, and Wyatt, they're at the hospital. He's in a coma. And the doctor comes in and let them know that he's stable. But all the drugs fucked him up. They just basically fucked him up. And... But he's okay, and they have to see, they have to wait 48 hours to um, see if any kind of damage had been done. Um, Catherine, Hannah calls Catherine and let her know, okay. Veronica don't, she going off, <laughs> she's going off in the doctor at the hospital about she ain't got no damn implants. And the doctor's trying to let her know, like, this, yes, you do. They were in the damn x-rays that you do. But she don't want to hear that. She going off about she better not have no scars and all this kind of stuff. And he's letting her know that one of her breasts are ruptured. And she needs to take care of that. And she just don't want to let it be known that she got implants or whatever. And she was like, if you give me a scar, I'm going to have a male practice suit. And I didn't have no scar. I have to have a son. And da 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 And so as she's going off, David here, her ranting, he comes up in there. She tells, he like, what happened? She tell the doctor, leave us. He like, huh? I'm like, bitch, I'm over here he's stitching you up. What are you doing? Leave us. Get your ass out of here. I'm like, I would have shot that bitch with, like, oh, oh, the, oh I would have had a malpractice suit. Because I would have gave her a drug that her ass would have been itching for a long time. I don't like her. Um, so, he leaves and Jeffrey's, I mean, they would say, what happened? And she was like, Jeffrey stabbed me. He like, Jeffrey stabbed you. Like, he couldn't believe it. So, he was like, Bobby saved me. She was like, what? He was like, yeah, you remember Bobby Safeman? Remember when Bobby Safeman was bullying his ass all the way up until he was 11 years old to Jeffrey couldn't take it no damn more and he had it all bottled up in him and he beat his ass with a baseball bat? Yeah. She was like, but I'm his mama. He was like, no, you're Bobby Safeman. Your ass is a bully. And you lucky his ass didn't have a baseball bat. I said but that's what happens. You push a person into the corner until they can't take no more and they just explode. And that's what he did on his mom. I mean, I kind of wish he would have had a baseball bat, but hey, that's just the evil part of me. I'm just saying. Um, then he say, you better let the doctors check your ass out so, you know, he can save your life. He said, you know what, better yet, don't let them check you out. I <laughs> Everybody wants you to die, Veronica. Everybody. Your husband, your son, Candace, me, might be, you know, a lot of subscribers. We just want you to die. That's all I'm saying. Um, Candace and Benny. They're in Jeffrey. Um, he comes over, Benny comes over, and he wants to talk to Jeffrey. And she like, you're not talking to Jeffrey. Like, what do you want to talk to him about? He don't even know that you had anything to do with this. And, you know, he's scared. But he's mad about his phone lines. But he ain't told Candace that. So, but he just wanted, he mad at David. So he wants to get to Jeffrey. Erica comes by. He like, Erica. Like, what the fuck? Because remember, Erica gave him that car. And, um, so... He, she was like, don't blame me. Blame your sister. He was like, I will. <laughs> and I'm just like, oh, shit. I was like, oh, yeah, you, you know, you didn't know that he, she knew Candace. So she was like, we got to go. And so Candace put him out. And well, Candace thought she was putting him out. They leave to go look for Oscar. Because she was like, God, she told Candace she put a tracker. She was like, I put a tracker thing on my phone or whatever. So we got to go because the power going to die. And so, Benny ended up going around the block and coming back. He came to question Jeffrey. He going off on Jeffrey about fucking David ass. He over there like, tell your daddy, leave my stuff alone. Leave my stuff alone. And then he was like, um, what did he tell him? Because I was so fucking mad at Benny like you bitch ass dude. This is why I hate your little slow little yellow bus riding helmet. Oh, I just, 
Oh, 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 Benny Mac. Y'all know when it comes to my babies, I just hate when people be so. Oh, mm. So, <laughs> he comes at Jeffrey and tells Jeffrey, if yo daddy don't stop fucking with my business, he gonna say, yo daddy don't want no son that's gay. Why, your mama got one? I'm, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. You shall give me them teases sometimes, so I don't know. But for him to do that, I was like, fuck, are you serious? He was like, what are you talking about? He was like, if your daddy don't, if you don't tell your daddy to stop messing with my business, I'm going to tell your daddy you gay. Jeffrey was like, huh? So let me get this straight. You're going to tell my daddy that I'm gay if I don't tell him to leave your business alone? He was like, yeah, so call him right now. So then David ended up calling, just so happened to be calling, and questioned uh, Jeffrey about his damn mama. And Jeffrey, you know, went through all of that with his daddy about his mama and about the Bobby statement and all that kind of stuff. And David trying to question him. But Jeffrey is, by he trying to talk to his daddy, dumbass Benny is all, tell him, tell him. So <laughs> Jeffrey was like, oh, okay, well, Dad, Benny's here right now. And he's saying that if you don't stop messing with his business, he going to tell you that I'm gay. Benny was like, huh? Yes, stupid idiot. His daddy already know. Approved, you stupid fuck. Like, mm. <laughs> David was like, wait, he there right now? He right there? Give him the phone. He was like, you know what? You meet me in my, um, in your tow yard in three hours. I said, you don't know who you fucking with. Because apparently your sister didn't. I'm just saying. He don't know who he's fucking with and he's going to find out fucking with that man. Like, we think Veronica ruthless, but hell, she's mar he's married to Veronica. You better watch what you're doing. And he already fucked up your business. Now you fucking with... When you fuck with people, kids, you better watch what you do. I'm just saying, Benny, you're not understanding. You, mm, you messing with that man's son. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. You get everything the fuck you get from messing with somebody's child. They ain't done shit to you. Jeffrey have done nothing to Benny besides not want to be, you know, his friend. Like, motherfucker, I'm cool with your sister. I ain't cool with you. So I was not here for that. Um, David also, he, after Benny leaves or whatever, you know, he was like, I will always love you. I will always protect you, yada, yada, yada. So then he was like, did my mama kill Maggie? And David didn't say anything. That was a yes. <laughs> he said, you know what? And then he asked him another question or whatever. And he said, you know, um, he asked him, did you see Wyatt? And he said, yeah. He was like, yeah, I'm on my way to tell Jim the good news. And he like, the good news? And he was like, yeah, he alive. Oh, my God, Jeffrey lit up. Like, oh, my God, I ain't finna go to jail. I ain't telling nobody shit. Fuck all that. My man is alive. I'm going to see my man. He was like, can I go see him? His daddy was like, yeah, I'm going to call the doctor so we can go see your boo. Okay. Then after that, Erica and Candace, they're at, uh, they go find a car of Oscar. And they try to figure out, like, why is Oscar at the crier's headquarters? And then Mitch walk up. They're like, what the fuck you doing here? He like, why y'all doing here? What are you doing here? He was like, oh, you know, David Harrington was fucking with our phones or whatever because your brother fucking with Veronica, yada, yada, yada. So now she over here like, oh, so David, you know, is fucking with, uh, is involved in this whole business. This is why Oscar here. She putting two and two together and stuff like that. And then he tells them, oh, you found, you you know what's up with, um, war. And he says how war got cracked with drugs and the money. Candace was scared shitless. Candace was scared shitless as she should be. She was like, oh shit, he's going to kill me. I said, yes, he is. Next thing you know, it ended with war going to the jail with Jim. I don't forgot what they said because I kind of zoned out. But I know it's going to go down. Oh, it's going to go down. Because Jim is be like, motherfucker, she ain't lied to your ass twice. Because remember... Now he's really for the find out she keep lying because remember she keeps saying four million and on we know it was seven point something like girl Candace you in trouble. You in trouble Candace. That's all I'ma say. 
Anyway, that's my review for the Half and a Half Not Season 4, Episode 18. Tell me what y'all thought about it. It was a really cool episode. Um, I'm really here for this season. And follow me on all social media sites by the ghetto view, T-H-A-N-I-T-H-E. And I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Alright, peace.